right, here we are for another go-to unscripted session. Uh, we are live from Aarhus. I've been working on how to say that right. So Aarhus is how the Danes say it, from what I understand. So I'm very <laughs> excited. I am Eric Johnson. I am a principal developer advocate for serverless at AWS. And my guest today is Zenodia. Hello. Did I say that right? Yes. Okay, and t tell us who you are and what you do. Well, uh, my name is Zenodia. I'm a senior data scientist working at NVIDIA. Okay. And um, well, my uh, focus of, is of training and building and deploying very large language models. Okay, so <laughs> l let's break that down. Very large what models? Uh, language models. Okay, yes. all right. So <laughs> what is a language model? Well, language models uh, in general um, has a history. <laughs> Um, in uh, well before okay. before transformer age that you know we're using back of words word embeddings a lot and okay. in statistical medicine and well since around 2000 something and since transformer came out and it has this mind blowing effect and well now that's where we are <laughs> okay so all right so i'm going to back up a minute here so mm -hmm. what is a language model what i mean just I, I mean why if i'm a technical person why would i use a language model what does it do <clears throat> so um language models uh, specifically the transformer model that you know it's kind of my personal it's your thing yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah my thing uh -huh. um well they can do a lot of things okay you can um make it generate uh, image by a you know just a short descriptions Yes, you can. Okay. <laughs> yes, and you can um, you can have have a conversation with it as if it was a real person. You can oh, ask wow. it to do all sort of tasks like you know oh um, I'll give you a, some example of like English and Swedish translations okay. and then you know it will be able to translate it. Is that amazing? Wow. <laughs> yeah. And so all right. So what makes Transformer? The new thing. Why is it so exciting? <laughs> and what is it? I guess so. Yeah. I, yeah. So. I mean, I know all about this, obviously, but mm. but really, honestly, I know nothing. So, uh, <laughs> so, so you're going to be teaching me. I, I, this is very new to me. Mm. I know Nvidia does a lot around the language. Uh, Y'all put out a while back some some language where you can, you know, it, it blocks out sound and things like that. It has the has the AI that does that. What I mean, tell me about Transformer. Why is it so amazing? Yeah, so um, the basic uh, kind is a you know sec to sec model. That is, you have an encoder part, okay, and then you have the decoder part. And the magic inside of those modules is the self attention. Okay, that if you if you intuitively thinking, if you can pay attention to um, a sentence. And then you mask out a few words. Okay. And then if you check if this two, if this sentence and the consecutive sentence has continuity or okay. not, true or false. Right. And then if you just train on this simple task for an encoder, and you can do all sorts of amazing things like you know, um, uh, uh, classify sentiment. Okay. Uh, yeah. And it, it, for the generative part, which is the decoder part. That um, which is what we call GPT okay. type of model, generative type of model. Okay. Now that it can generate sentences, that sometimes, for example, you can ask it a question like, you know, uh, what's the meaning of life, and it will give you like almost kind of like an essay about the philosophy, what I think about it. It has the capability of reasoning, for example, like, you know, if you ask it a Stop math it. question. Stop it. What? Yeah, no, I mean, no, I mean, I, that's, <laughs> yeah, sorry, what? I startled you. Yeah, no, reasoning, right. so it's not, okay, I, I didn't mean to interrupt you, no. but we're there now. Mm. So, so if I'm understanding you right, it's not regurgitating something in its database that might no. something might seem to relate to that, it's, it's reasoning. Yes, well, you know, for, for example, like this, this, th this is <laughs> quite recent, I mean, th that I have uh, noticed that okay. very, very large language models has the ability to, for example, you ask, um, you know, like when we were in elementary school, we learned how to do addition. Okay. And you would say, I have five apples, you have one apples, how many apples do we have together? Right. And I then know you that. Six. It's six. <laughs> yes. Yeah, sorry. So you I would got reason. <laughs> yes. So you would reason, right? It's okay. Like five plus one okay. equal to six. Therefore, we had together. We have six apples. Okay. Now, language models. If you just show it, and one example is called one-shot learning. Okay. Yeah. Then it has the ability. If you ask a similar question, it has the ability to do exactly that, replicate okay. that, extrapolate that logic. Okay. Isn't that amazing? Uh, yeah, beyond <laughs> amazing. So, all right, so let me say this back, make sure I understand it. So I show it, if you have, I'm gonna switch it up for you. Mm -hmm. If you have three apples and I have two apples, we have five. 
that that's the one shot, right? So it says, okay, I figured out the logic, mm. first number, the second number, I need to add them or subtract them, whatever. Mm. Uh, but there, it's, it's, it's recognizing words in there. And so the second, so, so then I can show it again. If, if you have 19 airplanes and I have two airplanes, it can use the logic from the one shot, the first learn, mm. to the first learn. <laughs> apply. I'm gonna change up words here. Yeah. It, it, the first learning to apply to that second one to do the, the math, to understand how to process that. Yes, but I mean, of course, that uh, this type of model needs to um, it needs to train on data sets, okay. like gigantic amount of data sure. set that has those logics in it, right? Okay. So I mean, you you, you cannot possibly imagine that you know if you just throw it uh, <laughs> web okay. chat forums and you yeah. know not even grammatically correct and then emojis and you know this kind of thing, and then it would just do that, right? Because it understood. I mean, it's like when you're teaching a child yeah. how to speak a language, and you're teaching a child how to do math, and then if you if you uh, equipped it with um, you know, on a daily basis with common language like, you know, emojis and web chat forums, right. not even grammatically correct. Right. I mean, the result is that the child will speak that kind of language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So the language model is very similar. Okay. So, so the way that you feed the data to, I mean, the, the not the way, I think, the, the data, the variety and the versatility you, you feed to this type of model, GPT type of model, then it will kind of result in this sort of things that I just Man. mentioned, yeah. So I have a, a nine and an 11 year old. I have five kids actually. Wow. But my nine, yeah, yeah that's the response I usually get, wow. What were you thinking? No, <laughs> you know, no, 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 Totally off topic, but I'm saying mm. this anyway. My, <laughs> my, my 11 year old has a, you know, be back soon is BBS and, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, LOL. And she's, and she's learned these emoji talk. Oh my God. And it's like, please stop. Please stop. <laughs> so, and she's learned it from like cartoons, you know. So yeah, it has affected how, her, how she dialogues and things mm -hmm. like that. Uh, really interesting. So uh, I, I'm still a little blown away by the idea, but there's, there's the learning process. So mm -hmm. the more obviously we teach it like any AI ML, the more yeah. we teach it, the more responsive it is. Um, how good is it? Well, uh, depends on the size of the model, right? Because, okay. um, you know, if you imagined that the, 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 the entire internet is a knowledge base that you can have access to, and you, if you could feed all of it to a gigantic model, yeah. A GBT3 model. Then the bigger the model size, you know, being able to absorb those yeah. knowledges, you know, coming from all over the world, then of course it can do all sorts of great things. However, <laughs> this is just like, <laughs> this is just like, you know, a dream. But for the moment, uh, most of, uh, I mean, this comes to a little bit sensitive topic because most of the uh, data, high resource uh, language data out there are English, Chinese, okay. you know? So um, for those of <laughs> those of um, like us, you know, I live in Sweden. Mm -hmm. So um, Swedish is a low resource language. Okay. So um, we don't really get that much data <laughs> comparable to <laughs> English. Makes sense, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, the model that we trained obviously is 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 less uh, competitive, so to speak. Okay. Than the English one, but okay. but 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 again, <laughs> um, if we could have imagined like you know multilingual kind of. GPT-3 model. Yes, yeah. Wouldn't that be interesting? So that's kind of like a research initiative that we're taking on. All right, so yeah, here's what I was thinking to see if I'm on the right track then. Mm -hmm. So English, obviously, very popular language. It's, it's, it's the only one I speak. And so, and not even all of it. But uh, you, you train that, you have high performing models in English, right? Mm -hmm, but you're mm -hmm. saying Sweden are not as high performing just simply because it's not as common. Does the ability to have, if you teach the Swedish to translate to English and then apply, does that make sense? Is that what, kind of what you're talking about? Well, it's more like um, the other way around that, you know, um, because um, this is also the other thing that we are looking into. Okay. So um, English has a, a lot of abundance in all sorts of uh, tasks and, you know. Okay. So, um, abundance? Abundance of uh, okay. tasks. I, heard, I thought it was abandoned. I was like, what? <laughs> All right, abundance, got it, okay. Re reaching, yeah, it's my, it's my hearing, yeah, so yeah. Reaching, <laughs> reaching a variety. Okay. So for, for example, like if you, um, 
Uh, let's let's take example for like a sentiment analysis for yeah. example like if you or, or intent slot classification like if, if you if you speak a sentence and you know like if you have an alexa here you know mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you want alexa to um, uh, to find out what's the intent when you speak like uh get me a coffee yeah. then uh, then then it probably needs to do something with with sure. a smart uh, coffee machine. Now, now that intent slot cl classification has like you know a lot of um, public available benchmark worthy data set, which you can check okay. the performance of these very large language models. Okay. However, for the low resource language such as Swedish, we we simply don't yeah, have makes those. Sense. Okay. Yeah. So okay. so how about we just translate? <laughs> Okay, From. so I was I'm on the right track now. Okay, got yeah. it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So right. it's more like the other way around. We we, we, we we try and translate. From English to Swedish, and then of course you need to do a lot of like checking <laughs> whether the translation yeah. quality is good enough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or or uh, then and uh, then you could possibly, you know, we hope in the future to use this kind of mechanism, create a workflow that enabling all sorts of languages that you know trans, um, wow. transferred from the high resource yeah. to the low resource so, so, you know every, everyone can be enabled so yeah, we are yeah. not like you know isolated to the english world <laughs> and so the yeah. better the translation the more effective that would work then yes but i mean that's just one initiative right okay. you, you also have the other initiative where um, it, it's it's possible to train a multilingual type of model such as uh, t5 t5 is like Again, it's okay. a language model, okay. and that has encoder and decoder. Where the, uh, the 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 main difference between the T five and the sec to sec model is that uh, the the result will be generated auto regressively. Okay. Anyhow, so uh, the T five model, if you're training multilingual, and that's also a research uh, initiative that we're having, you could possibly just skip the translation and you train on the English one, and then you adopt it to the Swedish one. Wow. So, so more on that later, because yeah, you know yeah. we might have some blog and, and stuff that will be out uh, this uh, in the end of this year, so. Man, okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, a couple questions. That were, one, I want to go back for a second. You said yeah. IntelliSlots. Yeah, intent and slot. Okay, intent. intent and, okay, so yeah. what does that mean? So for I, example. I, I'm going to interrupt. I, I've worked a little bit. I think I know what it means. Work, mm -hmm. I've done some Alexa skills yes. and understanding where the slots are, things like that. It, explain that and see if I'm even close. So, yeah, yeah. So, so for example, when you want to set alarm clock. Okay. Yeah, you say set alarm. Okay. That's an intent. Okay. The slot will be more uh, more uh, fine grain, like, you know. The data. The, yeah, like 8 a.m. to okay. 8 p.m. Uh, right. Or, or like 8 p.m. is weird. It's 8 a.m. possibly it's yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> or, you know, uh, book a reservation. Right, and then you have to give a time and okay. a place. Right. So those will be the slot. Okay. The yeah. intent will be yeah. So okay. intent is more like a, 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 what you call it. If you look at the hierarchy, it will be higher up one level, and the slot will be okay. Yeah. What to do? The data that applies to that. Yeah, you, you, you can okay. you can think of it like that. That's yes. probably oversimplified. <laughs> I'm totally a data scientist. <laughs> no problem. Add that to my resume. So okay. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you this: How much do you love your job? Well, a lot. I was like, gonna say it shows on your face. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, you, you obviously love what you're doing. You're obviously incredibly bright. Uh, I mean, a lot of this is going over my head, but I, <laughs> it's very fascinating. Um, what's next? Well, um, and, and, and I'm not asking you to tell video secrets unless you want to. Probably you shouldn't. Uh, but yeah, I'm curious of what's next. What's what's the next big thing? Yeah, be before I answer to that okay. question, I just want to say that you know there's a lot of bright minds yeah. um, at the company that I'm working for, Nvidia. Obviously, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, and, and all, obviously all around the world, like yourself. Sure. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, um, yeah, so so you know, I'm nowhere an expert. I'm just the person who's on the wow. journey. Of I trying doubt that. To <laughs> <laughs> Just listen to you talk. Yeah, obviously you are an expert, but okay, whatever. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So the next uh, step would be like you know, if you think about uh, using this type of model, I don't know if you heard about Gato. That's yeah. kind of model where you can take any kind of modality, multimodality. We're okay. talking about any kind of modality like image, video, audio, not just text based, right? Right. right okay. And then you can have this capability such as the language model that's text-based okay. as, as well. So that they will be amazing, right? The multimodality. Okay. Then you have one centralized model that mm. does 
basically everything. Sure, sure. Like yeah. we humans so do, right? Break it into different t- okay. Yeah, like yeah. we humans yeah, do, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They will be fantastic, right? So, so uh, and maybe maybe you're not there for a question yet, but if, as I'm hearing you, so it, so so what you're saying again? I'm I'm just repeating what you're saying. Try to sound smart, <laughs> but. Uh, 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 what we want to be able to do is say, okay, you don't have to just talk to me in text, being I'm the model, or you do, I don't just manipulate images. I know at Amazon, like we have recognition that handles video uh, recognition video, and then we have text track, and we have, we have different things like that, and they're probably you know, entirely separate systems mm-hmm. that handle that. But but what you're kind of saying is those one model to kind of rule them all, right? I mean, yeah. man, it's Lord of the Rings. That was very Lord of the Rings, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, and, and does that mean we kind of bring those capabilities in? So, okay, so you kind of front end, so here's your one model, you kind of front end it with the text, front end it with an image manipulator, front end it, or is it kind of, it just handles them all? And maybe there's not a big difference there, but I'm curious. There's a big difference. And okay. so if you have one model to rule them all, mm-hmm. <laughs> then that if you, is- If y'all use that, I, I, want, I want just a little tagline, Eric Johnson. So. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, that's a good. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, uh, then you kind of, um, I mean, it's it's depending on the organizations, right? Because some organizations want to have this uh, ability to break things down, so that you are having this, uh, well, you know, a modulized approach mm-hmm. where you can interchange if if one parts of this ability is not working, then you just interchange that out with a better performing okay. module. Okay. For example, like you know, when we are speaking. And that's an audio, right? It's automatic speech recognition, right. right? So you you understand what you are speaking from the sound, and you translate it in your brain to the text. And then you know, if you have a translator here, mm-hmm. and it, then they will translate it to whatever language that you know that, that they are supposed to. So that's a modulized approach. You you kind of break it down into a pipeline, right? Okay. And that that's not bad either, because that means that you have the ability of like say um, optimize a specific section of that. Okay. Yeah, in the pipeline. <clears throat> now, now, if you have a, a big model, uh, then then um, th- that kind of can take in anything and do everything. That, that that's amazing too. Yeah, it, but it at is. the same time, you, you, it will be like you know um, making people feel like you know Terminator scenario. The end of the <laughs> Thank world. you. I was going to ask the question. Yeah. How close are we? Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, yeah. In this ability to just interact on a human level, mm. how how far are we, in your opinion, from that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to answer that, but I, I, think, you don't have I think to answer I think you should but, ask yeah. Elon Musk. He has the neural link that company, isn't it? So you should ask him. Okay, so Elon, again? Elon Musk. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the guy who yeah, who's well, like the brightest mind. But he's mind. not here. No, so. <laughs> no, no. But I think we're close. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's 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 pretty. Oh man. All yeah. right. So one, uh, just a few more. Uh, I want to ask you one more thing, and then we'll probably uh, break it out. But uh, you have a talk today. Yes, I do. And and. I'm assuming it's a lot about what you're talking about here. What, do you, what is your talk on? Uh, it's, I'm going to talk about two GPT-3 models, one okay. gigantic and okay. one small. <laughs> what time are you talking today? Uh, 10.50. Okay, so not too far. No. Okay, man, I, I, I'm going to try to catch that. Although, yeah. I've, I've, you've already, you know, here. So, uh, well, I want to thank you very much thank for you. joining us. This is fantastic. I've learned a lot. I am adding data scientists to my uh, resume. I, I, I'm obviously not, you know, where you are, but I'm close, you know. So, Everyone is a data scientist. They, that's right. Mm. I'm going to go with that. I, mm. I appreciate your kindness. <laughs> so, uh, anything you want to say before we head out? Anything? Uh, any? Any? Shameless plugs you you've got coming up? <laughs> um, I would like to everyone to uh, you know kickstart the journey, whatever you are doing, because you know it's only it, this is a process, right? So it's only when you start a journey yeah, yeah. and start learning, then you are, you are, you know uh, experience this fantasticness of the. You know, AI oh, world. So. Well said. Yeah, well said. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, that's it for another session of GoTo Unscripted here live from GoTo Aarhus. I've been working all week to say that right. So uh, we appreciate it. And thank you. Thank uh, you. Absolutely fascinating. Uh, thank you. So, and uh, you have a good day. <laughs>